Welcome to Renew Supplies and Tim and the Parts Professor. We're here to do a pre-operation checklist on a medium size or small size automatic walk behind floor scrubber. And here's the checklist. First we're going to check the battery fluid levels in the batteries. Typically you have four batteries in the newer, the newer machines, six batteries in the older machines. There's 24 volt or 36 volt machines. You would remove the caps. If you had a little flashlight that'd be great. Um, and we've got some batteries that are cut away over here to make it easier to tell where to fill them to. All right, number one, use distilled water. In your batteries, you have the batteries, lead acid, the cells, and then the tops. Here's the, the, the cells again, and the tops. If you look at the side, you want to have the water level halfway between the cell and the bottom of this neck. And that will allow for expansion, expansion and contraction when you're charging them and using them. After the batteries have been filled to the proper level, you want to check the condition of the batteries or the charge of the batteries. Typically you turn the switch or a key on and it will tell you, hey, that's almost fully charged, you're good to go. If it's down in the red or lower green, you might want to put it in the ch on the charger again and get it up to snuff. While we're doing the checklist, we want to make sure we check off the checks. And if we have any notes or things that we're going to need, we're going to make a note on them. All right, then the next thing we're going to check are the brushes or the pad drivers. First, you want to remove the brush or the pad driver. You want to make sure it's clean and it doesn't have a bunch of dirt and sand on it. And I, I would personally, I'd rinse this out, pull the strings off of here. And then I'm going to come over here and show you the different style brushes and different things. This brush came off of a machine. The guy wondered why his floor wasn't getting cleaned. And I kind of, after I laughed at him a little, I showed him that the brush should probably look like that. It's about two and a half inches, the bristle. We also have, you could use pad drivers on those machines. There's several different kinds. This is the most conventional one, the most durable one, I think. These are good pad drivers, but they seem to come apart and wear out easily. And they also have different style pad clips to hold the pads on. That. Or this. <clears throat> the reason they have those in an automatic scrubber is so the pads won't fall off when you lift the heads up. Um, and if you are using pads, you want to make sure that the pad's not dirtier than the floor you're cleaning. I'd say that's pretty dirty. You want to make sure they're not wore out. I'd say they got, you got your use out of these. These should be like that. In a future vlog or blog, we're going to talk about the different kinds of pads and where we would use them and what conditions we would use them in. All right, now we're going to move on to the squeegee assembly. You want to check the squeegee assembly, make sure, well, number one, we have a problem here with the gasket. I don't think it's supposed to look like that. So we're going to need a new gasket. We should probably note that on the list. 
then if you look at the squeegee assembly, it's dirty. This squeegee is starting to crack and it's just covered with wax. So I, I would replace that squeegee. And this is what they should look like. Don't show that. This is what they should look like. Um, and they're real simple to change. And while we're doing squeegee, we should check this. The squeegee hose to make sure it's not cracked or brittle or anything like that. It doesn't have any leaks and make sure it's not clogged like this. So obviously the guy didn't sweep the floor before he used the machine. Then we <laughs> might be a good idea when you're checking that squeegee hose is to see make sure you got good suction here when you let go you could the, the real way to tell is that you can if you cover this up you shouldn't be able to pull the top off you gotta come up here AJ this top should so now without the hand on the hose you pull that off Forget something? I'm sure we did. 